guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be doing a video you guys requested when I did the sun, sun kiss summer tag. Yes, when I did the sun kiss summer tag, you guys asked me to do this video, um, and it is a what's in my bag. I thought, um, I, I feel so bad that I haven't uploaded it in a while, but I look videos take so long to edit and do right, and I don't like doing them in the bathroom, and I rarely have time to film in the day now, what with my ridiculous schedule. So I thought this was an easy video to do today, something where I could just sit down and talk to you guys at the same time. So yeah, this is gonna be a what's in my bag, and it is the bag that you guys saw me talk about in the Sun Kiss Summer Tag, which is the Louis Vuitton Messenger Bag. It is in the original um, monogram canvas with the LV pattern and the fleur de lis. Um, so, yep, this is the bag. This is what it looks like. It's old, so it has some scuffs on it here, like here and there. The little str like elastic strap has broken, which held onto the little foot at the bottom. Um, yeah, I mean this bag is well used. I we, I wear it every single day. If you look at it, the, let, the canvas is so broken in, it doesn't have any of its structure anymore. Um, yeah, this is a everyday bag that I use. I believe this is the medium size, it's not the smallest and it's not the biggest. Um, and yeah, so this is what it looks like on the inside, it just has the back side brown canvas. Um, I have some stains on it, of course, it's, uh, again, I take it to school, I take it to work, I take it everywhere. This is the what it looks like on the inside. So it has a zipper pocket here. On the other side, there are two, there's a, these two front pockets here that I don't really ever put anything in. Oh my gosh, this is kind of difficult. And then there are two pockets in the front. And then one in the back as well. And that's about how wide the bag is. So this bag is very handy. It, car it carries a lot, but um, it does deform the bag if you carry things that you actually need in it. I mean, you could carry a few minor things and not stretch it out, but you wouldn't be carrying that much. So that's the one downside of this bag is you can't you can't carry all of the things you need without kind of ruining the bag a little bit. So I'm definitely looking to get a backpack in the future. But anyway, let's get right into what is in the bag. So in the so in the front pocket here, I have my phone. There's, I don't think anything else in here. Oh, a pen. In this second pocket, I keep my wallet, which is the same thing. It's a Louis Vuitton wallet in the monogram and it has my initials in it right there so it's mono personalized for me and then inside the bag I have a daily planner so this is my little notebook it has a really cute chevron pattern on it and it's basically just blank so you can fill it up however you'd like with whatever you want for to put in for that day Next, I have my sunglasses. These are just my Ray-Ban aviators. Next is a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses. These are the Avedants, the black and gold ones that you saw everyone wearing a long time ago. Um, they're not as popular anymore. A empty Ziploc bag. <laughs> And then I have lots of little travel things. Because I work at a hotel, we give out the we give these kinds of things out to guests a lot. So I have like little travel sewing kits. Yes, my nails have been painted. I got samples of nail polish and birch box and I never wear it outside, but I like playing with the colors. Two sewing kits, little other kits with nail files, um, cotton rounds, Q-tips. So a lot of those things always come in handy. Then I have dry shampoo. This is from um, Chlorine Laboratories. This I got as a sample in, I believe, an Ipsy bag, and this has been really useful, actually. I'm almost out of it. I also have, most of these things are like samples from Ipsy and Birchbox. I have a sample of shea butter hand cream from Balsamo Corpo Nutrient Intenso. I don't know the brand. Um, then I have tanning oil from Hang Ten. This is just 
a little sample squirt bottle of tanning oil. I then have a sample of American Crew Classic. This is just holding spray, which I haven't used yet. Uh, it's brand new, it's a sample as well. This was actually given to me by one of my guests at the hotel, so thank you so much, Shuri, if you're watching. <laughs> then I have the Mark Anthony Dream Mist texturizing spray. So this is a coconut texture spray that I will just spritz in there if my hair is looking a little flat. I also have a little sample of the Ageless Body Cream. This is just a little um, grapefruit hand cream that I love. It smells so good. And I got that from, I believe, Ipsy. Then I have a little iPhone dock block charging thing, just in case I or one of my friends needs one. I have my headphones. I have keys random paper that needs to be thrown out. My bag is not super interesting, I'm just saying. Next I have um, little earplugs from for the airplane that came from the hotel as well. Most of this stuff is from the hotel. I have an old ticket from, oh, this was from Book of Mormon? I don't know, it's only just the little, that part. Or that might, might have been an Aladdin, I'm not sure. Then in here I have some of my business cards from work and a Starbucks card. Oh, I need to use that. And then I have a little thing that I got from Ipsy. This I keep more like sample things in. This is a little shoehorn that I got from work as well. Then I have makeup remover wipes from work, an eyelash curler, a comb, um, baby wipes, Q-tips, nail polish remover, hand cream, samples, everything. This is like my everything little emergency kit thing. Then in the next little thing, I have a little pouch which has my carry makeup bag. So this is just the makeup carry with me on a daily basis. I have Revlon Photo Ready, just a cheap translucent powder, sample size of Benefit They're Real, uh, Milani face powder, um, I have a Dermablend brush in here just in case. I have two eyeliners. Oh no, three eyeliners. I have two, I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Felt Tip Liner, which sucks. Then a Starlux Eye Coal, and then Urban Decay's Black Velvet. This is a sample I got from Ipsy. And then a little brush for my pressed powder. So I find like it's so handy to have like these stupid little trinket things on hand because just in case you or someone else, you know, smudges their eyeliner or gets nail polish all over them, you have these wipes and it's just handy to keep stuff like that on hand. That's where that term comes from. Handy, it's on hand. Um, so next in the very back pocket back here, I have a little guide to downtown Stamford because I work at the hotel so I need to always know where the stores are in Stamford because our hotel is in the next town over um, and yeah so that concludes the what's in my bag guys I don't have too much in here as you can see I don't have like tons of receipts wrappers like all that crazy stuff that you see in a lot of these girls videos and maybe it's just because I don't need that much stuff, or I just don't, I don't know, maybe I throw stuff out more. I don't know. My bag wasn't too cluttered, which I was actually surprised about. I thought I thought there would be more stuff, but I'm kind of happy about that. And it's nice to just sit down and not worry about makeup and just talk with you guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, let me know in the comment bar down below and thumbs up this video. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so. Um, I'll be coming out with an eye look very soon. I picked up a few new eyeshadows here and there, so I want to show you guys how those look on the eye. And I will see you next time. And until then, bye yo. I did video for a while, for once and for the nah. <laughs>